Hey, it's Billy from Puck Rivals, and the votes are in. If you didn't see on our Twitter or previous video, we asked you to vote on which teams you wanted to see for the final three videos of the year for this prospect series. And the three teams with the most votes were the Winnipeg Jets, Philadelphia Flyers, and Colorado Avalanche. Thanks to everyone who voted and followed our account. It was great to get your input, and we are definitely going to incorporate more things like this when we can. And with that, let's get into the first of the final three teams of this series, the Winnipeg Jets. A prospect is eligible for these rankings if they are under the age of 24 and have not played more than 25 games in a single NHL season. Leave a comment on your top 5 Jets prospects, and with that, let's get started and begin with the graduates from the Jets system. The Jets have two players who have graduated from prospect status, and thus won't be included in the top 5. Jansen Harkins met the 25 game threshold last season with the Jets, making him ineligible. Nelson Nogier, or Nogier, I'm not actually sure how you say his name, turned 24, so he won't be eligible either. No real big losses here for the Jets pool. And with that said, let's take a look at their 5th ranked prospect. David Gustafsson is our number 5 prospect for Winnipeg. The Swede unexpectedly played 22 games with the Jets last year as a 19 year old, although in a relatively sheltered checking role on the 4th line. Still though, it's impressive he was able to do that. Drafted in the 2nd round in 2018, Gustafsson plays a reliable 2 way game, he's not a flashy player, but he will always find a way to chip in. He's got some untapped offensive upside on top of that as well. He put that part of his game on display in the All Svenskan before the NHL started, where he put up a tad over a point per game. Gustafsson's bread and butter will always be his two-way play, and that could help him become a nice role player who could play in many different situations for the Jets. The fourth ranked Jets prospect on this list is Finnish winger Christian Veselainen. The former first rounder generated a ton of hype when he was drafted in 2017, but that hype has simmered down considerably. Last season saw the Finn play with the Manitoba Moose, where he was playing at about half a point per game. Not bad, but nothing to write home about either, considering the hype he once had. That being said though, he's still only 21 and possesses a great shot and still has top 6 upside. He's also worked a lot on his skating, which is always a plus with any player, considering how much that matters in today's NHL. Overall, Veselainen is a big, heavy Finnish winger with good offensive tools and a heavy shot. I don't think Winnipeg has ever had a player like that before. But in all seriousness, Patrick Laine's departure opens a spot on the top 6 wing that could be Veselainen's in time if it's not his already. Moving on to number 3, we have the first defenseman of the list in Dylan Sandberg. The American is a pretty large two-way defenseman with a great skating ability, and he uses that to his advantage with the puck. He's had a very successful college career with Minnesota Duluth, capturing two NCAA championships as part of a great Bulldogs blue line. After Mikey Anderson departed the team last year, it allowed Sandberg to play a bigger role for the team, and it showed with a much better offensive season for the defenseman. Not sure how much his offense will translate to the NHL, but that's not the main part of his game anyways. He signed his entry-level deal for the season, and as of this moment, has yet to make his NHL debut. But given the craziness that is this season, it should come eventually, and probably more on top of that. He seems to have filled out his 6'4 frame some more, which will help him on his way to a potential top 4 duty in Winnipeg. Coming in at the number 2 spot, we have the top ranked defenseman in 2019 first rounder, Vili Hinola. The Finn is a puck moving defenseman with average size and a good skating ability, but his biggest strength is his hockey IQ. Defending in his own end might not be his bread and butter, but he always makes small smart plays and is poised when put under pressure. Despite being a defenseman drafted in the later half of the first round, Hinola was able to earn himself a cup of coffee with the Jets last season playing 8 games and producing 5 points as an 18 year old. He's been a mainstay on the Finnish blue line at the World Juniors the last 3 years as well, earning a gold and a bronze medal for his country. Hinola has one game so far under his belt with the big club this season, and is bound to get more as the season goes on. He projects to be a smart puck mover for the Jets for a long time. Last, or first I guess, but certainly not least, we have Cole Perfetti ranked as the best prospect in Winnipeg. The first thing to know about Perfetti is his hockey sense. 
It's simply elite. He uses that elite hockey sense combined with his creativity, vision, puck skills, and release to generate a ton of offense. He has everything you would want in a top line offensive forward, and lucky for Winnipeg, he fell right into their lap. In his draft eligible OHL season, Perfetti put up an outstanding 111 points, good for second in the league. And now, due to this crazy year and the OHL not receiving permission to play, he will get a chance to play professional hockey with the Moose when he normally wouldn't get to at this age. It will be a great experience for the highly touted forward, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him succeed there given the amount of talent he has. Perfetti has a very legit shot to be a first-line forward in the NHL, and playing with those current Jets forwards will only help with that. Now of course, keeping the list at just 5 prospects is going to leave out some guys that are still worth mentioning. So, we have our honorable mentions who just missed the cut. The towering D-man Logan Stanley, goalie Mikhail Burden who is putting up some decent numbers in Russia, and D-man Declan Chisholm, whose stock continues to rise. Overall, Winnipeg has a pretty decent prospect pool at their disposal. It possesses two young defensemen who both should be ready to make the full jump relatively soon, which they need as the blue line is clearly the position where the team needs the most help. As for forwards, they have two prospects who have potential to play in the top six, and the Jets already have a top tier forward core, and adding both Perfetti and even Veselainen into that mix only makes it that much more dangerous. Despite being a pretty competitive team over the last few years, Winnipeg has continued to stock the cupboards with prospects who can make impacts at the NHL level. Let us know in the comments what you think of these rankings and players. You can see the rest of the videos in this series in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and love hockey like us, then don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. This has been Billy from Puck Rivals, and I'll see you in the next video.